is a nightmare. Here we are in New York City at Josh Landris. This is Josh himself, the man, the myth, the owner of the store. Yes. Um, <laughs> what's that in your hand? So what we have here is an Olds recording trumpet. This one is going for 1500 bucks for the original lacquer and in pretty darn good shape. And what do we have here? So this is a uh, kind of a little novelty item. This is a uh, Calisson mini trumpet and it kind of plays like a piccolo trumpet, but pretty difficult to play. Can anybody play this, Josh? We have a clip of someone playing it for 10 seconds. And it actually fits a brass switch. Oh my God, how much would it cost? This one is $3,500. More expensive than the big one. I know, this is a pretty cool. This is a Martin committee that was made for Wallace Roney. Wallace Roney was Miles Davis's protege. It's supposed to be a blue lacquer that came out green. What was the purpose of the color? So Miles had played on some colored horns in like the late 70s, early 80s. And Wallace was spending a lot of time with Miles. So this was a, a copy of Miles's horn and he had it engraved with his name on the side. So this is 17,000. So, um, <laughs> wait, let me put this down. Put your butt down. Excuse me, sir. Did you make this? Call this the seahorse. So the inspiration for this creation has been many uh -huh. evenings. It started off as a trumpet. I just kept on adding to it. And if you see right here, oh my. This is by far the finest playing instrument. I think the problem is I'm a little sharp. <laughs> it's priceless. The cool thing about this horn is it does for the brass switch. This is a fun little guy. Yeah, so finally here we have a Midtown Brass, which is our in-house brand. Little novelty item, and you can just take it with you and travel. Works pretty well. Do you want to clap or just keep going? Oh, keep going. Not clap for applause. <laughs> for the small price of 475 bucks. So this is a pretty normal looking trumpet, but this is, I think, one of the coolest trumpets that I have here in the shop. This is actually Max Schlossberg's trumpet. So most brass players know the Schlossberg studies. Oh yeah. This is Schlossberg's trumpet picked out by Harry Glantz and Max Schlossberg at the Bach factory in 1929. On this one, we're asking $72,000. Oh my God. Which is kind of a deal. There's been some historic trumpets that have sold in the past few years. Marcus Belgrave, really famous for Motown recordings. Mm -hmm. One of his trumpets sold for $150,000. Miles Davis, Dizzy Gillespie, $300,000. It's not as It's not as, yeah, you know. I mean, it's kind it of- It is a discount trumpet. For sale. Oh, actually, for sale, for sale, own a piece of history. And we'd even throw in a uh, brass whip with it. I don't play trumpet, why like, not? Are you surrounded by morons who are always making mistakes? If so, buy yourself a brass switch and buy one for your moron friends. Brass switch star. That's right. Principal trumpet player of the New York Metropolitan Opera House and podcast host of Speaking Soundly. Just conversations about what it is that we do as performers that you respect and see on stage have the same issues that maybe you're dealing with. Smash like, smash subscribe, and go check out the podcast. Stick the landing.